Hi everyone, how are you all? I hope you all are doing great. My name is Narendra and welcome back to B10X. Today we are diving into a topic that's crucial for anyone working with data. Top Excel data analysis functions. But before we move forward, I would like to tell you that B10X is offering an exclusive workshop on Microsoft Office using AI tools. The link is in the description box below. We'll talk more about it later in the video. Working professionals, are you using Excel, Power BI, PowerPoint or Word in your day-to-day -day life? What if I tell you that you're wasting 95% of your time while you're doing so? How so you will be asking me? Because you're not using chat GPT and AI tools while doing all of these work. Excel is a powerful tool when it comes to analyzing data, whether you are a business professional, a student or anyone dealing with numbers, knowing these functions will make your life a lot easier. Let's start with one of the most fundamental functions. First one being VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP function allows you to search for a value in the first column of a range and return a value in the same row from another column you specify. So let's understand more about VLOOKUP using ChartGPT. So we'll also do one example. Here you can see we got the response. We just asked ChartGPT, can you explain VLOOKUP function for data analysis in Excel? So here you can see, first of all, we have a syntax. So we have first lookup value, then table array, then column index number, then range lookup. So here we have few points on how you can use VLOOKUP for data analysis. So let's ask ChatGPT for an example. As you can see, here we got the output. So let's do this example. But before that, I would like to tell you one important thing regarding this chart GPT and AI, everything, which all of you need to understand. As you all know, AI is taking over the world. In such a short span of time, we have seen so many layoffs, millions of jobs replaced by AI and whatnot. You don't want to get affected by this recession wave, right? Well, AI won't replace you, but the person using AI will. If you want to save your job and become irreplaceable in your career, join our two-hour Microsoft Office using AI Tools Workshop, in which we will teach you about the best AI tools to upskill, increase your productivity, and enhance your career. Make your future secure with us. Join our workshop by clicking the Link below in the description now. Let's do this example. So here we have a table of student grades like student ID, name, grade. So, and you have another table where you want to look up student grades based on their IDs. Let's assume lookup table looks like this. As you can see here we have a student ID. Here we have to find grade using VLOOKUP function. So for that, we have to select the cell where you want the result of the VLOOKUP to appear. Let's say we want the result to start from cell B2 in the second table. So we have to enter this VLOOKUP formula there. So here you can see this is the formula. Let's go through this. Before that, let's copy these two tables to our Excel sheet. As you can see, here is our first table and here is our second table. Let's go through the function. So here, A2 is a lookup value, which is a student ID in this case. Then we have a student grades. 
student grades so this is a table array which contains the student id name and grade so we have to adjust the range according to the actual data so here three is a column index number since we want to retrieve the grade which is the third column in the table array we use three then here we are specifying false because we want exact match so let's copy the function so i'm going to paste it here so one thing we have to change is we have to change this table array so let's select this entire table then here you can see student with id 101 is having grade a so let's drag this down so with student with the id 102 is having grade b so we got the correct results so this is how we look up works for data analysis now we are going to see our second function in the list is sum if and sum ifs let's know how to use these functions for data analysis in excel so here you can see we have a sum if function and sum ifs function so let's see the syntax first so first one we have range so this is a range of cells that you want to evaluate with a criteria then we have criteria so this is the condition or criteria that must be met for a cell in the range to be included in the sum so next we have sum range so this is the optional one this is the actual range of cells to be summed okay then here is an example let's say you have a list of sales amounts in cells a to two hidden and you want to sum only the sales amounts that are greater than or equals to five hundred dollars you use the following formula so let's do this so for this one we want data right so let's ask chat gpt to create dummy data for the above examples so let's copy these tables here you can see i have just copied the both the tables so let's copy the first sum if function so i'm just going to paste the function here so we want to sum the values which are greater than or equals to 500 dollars so let's do this so we did this now let's see sum ifs function so here in the syntax first one is sum range so this is a range of cells that you want to sum then we have a criteria range one criteria range two and so on after that we have criteria one criteria two like that so here let's say we have a table of sales data with the columns for sales amount sales person and regions and we want to sum the sales amounts for a specific sales person in the specific region so you can use the following formula so as you can see using this function we are going to calculate the sales amount of john done in east region so this is the criteria range and criteria criteria range and criteria like that so let's copy the function so here i'm just going to paste it 
and you can see john in east region here 300 200 500 then 950 then 900 1850 so we got the correct output now we are going to explore the last function in this video which is average if average if is so let's ask chat gpt to explain average if and average ifs functions for data analysis in excel as you can see here we got the output so first of all we have average if syntax first one we have range the range of cells that we want to evaluate with our criteria then we have criteria after that we have a average range so let's see an example so here we have one example and uh, for average is we have another example so let's ask chat gpt to create dummy data for the table examples so let's do our first example so here suppose you have a list of test scores in cell a22 18 and uh, you want to calculate the average of scores that are greater than or equals to 70 you can use the following formula so first of all i'll copy both the tables to our excel sheets as you can see i've copied both the tables so let's copy the first function so i'm going to paste it here so we are going to find the average of these test scores which are greater than or equals to 70 so let's do this as you can see the average is 82.5 now let's see the second example for average ifs so here in syntax first one we have average range then criteria range 1 criteria range 2 and so on like that then we have criteria 1 criteria 2 so on like that so here we have an example let's see this let's say you have a table of student scores with columns for test scores column a student names column b and student grades column c you want to calculate the average score for students who received an a grade you can use the following formula so first of all we are getting the test score then here we have a grade and we are looking for a grade so first of all let's copy this function so i'm going to paste it here and you can see the output here we are doing the average of test scores whose grade is a okay and there you have it folks the top excel data analysis functions that will make your life easier and your work more efficient before you go don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to our youtube channel for more such informative videos also do check out our workshop link in the description we'll see you there thank you